get creative with your library's pick and mix cartoon workshops. Settle into this workshop to bring your superhero style to life. Style number two is kind of realistic Marvel, DC, whatever, comic book superhero style. So I've got a few books here that I borrowed from the library to have a look at. Um, I'm just going to make this up and I hope that you do too. So things that I'm looking at is muscle definition, I'm looking at how they draw different people, different characters, I'm looking at things like looks like it's quite thin lines for shadow and there is colour but a lot of the shadow is done by thin lines so what I'm going to use myself is I'm actually going to use a thin marker but you can use whatever you want. Okay cool so some interesting things in Superman. Here's some cool Inhumans. Lots of cool different things here. How the arms are, how the legs are. And then I've got Black Panther. Mm. So obviously these are in like a comic book style, but I'm gonna try and maybe just see how we go and I'll start with one main thing. So maybe one main picture like this. And so this is gonna be interesting because a lot of these are obviously people or humans, even though this one is a lot of mutants and stuff, but I'm gonna try and take my dingo and turn it into something like this. So I'm kind of winging it and I want you to have a go too while I do it. So let's have a look. All right, well, first of all, my dingo is quite simple. And so I obviously need to make it a bit more evolved. I might work with two sheets of paper. I might kind of describe or talk about what I'm doing over here and then draw a final one over here. So there's some different techniques I'm going to be doing like we saw in there, like I'm going to be working with shading and shading is as simple as different types of lines and then building those different types of lines on top of each other. So see how that's like one, that's two and that's three. And see how it appears to be darker? So that's kind of like a cross hatching shadow so I can play with things like that. I'm also using a lead pencil first which means that I can have a go at doing something and if I don't like it, it doesn't matter because at the end of it, I can just draw over the bits that I do like or change where I draw it and then colour them in later. The other thing is I'm not doing a human face, I'm actually going to be doing a dingo face. So I'm really going to have to have a think about what a dingo looks like, but this is an interpretation and so I know I want it to look different to a wolf or a dog, but if it happens to be along those lines, that's just, you know, that's the way it is too, because often superheroes as well are quite beefed out. Um, and so we're going to think about that as well. So the other thing we've got to play with in here is I've set that thing of surfing. So I've really got to come up with my character of doing something that incorporates surfing. So let's have a go. Now there's already a character that I play with with my dingoes, which is this kind of ethereal being. And so in that, I often play with the concept of blowing, like blowing the waves. So mine, I think I might play with something like that. I think I might, you know, um, maybe play with wind or water. I might have a think about how that action is displayed, whether it be wind like that or, you know, this kind of outward pushing. I'm going to have a think and I think maybe my dingo's yeah, superpower can be creating waves, I think, to be able to surf on. Maybe it's my superhero's day off. Okay. So first of all, I want to try and get the rough body shape down. So I know some people definitely play with this thing of like 
triangle maybe for a big beefy chest, a circle maybe for the head, you know, hips, that kind of thing, and then filling that in. And you can definitely do that, but what I might try and do is wing it a little bit. So I am gonna do some sketchy lines like this, but I'm gonna see how I go. So I think first of all, I'm gonna kind of sketch in my dingo head. And I'm gonna keep this quite simple. And build from it. Now something superheroes often do in books is they contort or move themselves in different ways that people wouldn't normally be in because it is a way to highlight and show how strong they are and their muscle tone. So I think I might have my dingo's head kind of facing this way, but then I think I might have a bit of a twist in the dingo's body or a bit of a movement. So I think I might straight away bring my one of my dingo's arms up like this with its paw like this. Hmm. Let's bring this chest down, a knee out here like this. Foot down. I think the dingo's tail should be on this side. And then I think we can play with the scene down here. Okay, so I'm going to start to build in some of these muscle tones, things like that. I'm going a little bit harder on my pencil. I'm kind of committing a little bit more to these lines, which you don't have to do. You can certainly play around with them first before committing to them. And I'm also having reference points. Like I'm, I'm, I've gone back ahead of time and I've found different pictures that show different muscles sitting in different ways. And so that's perfectly fine to have a book open next to you or the internet to be able to reference these things. So I'm already starting to fill in some of this shadow like we talked about. Because if I've got something in my head, like I know how I think it's going to work, I think it's not bad to put that in straight away to help build up the picture of what I definitely kind of know. Now we're going to work on these arm shapes. So we're kind of going to beef these muscles out a little bit. Something that can get really difficult is perspective. And so knowing that sometimes a muscle might look totally the opposite of what you think it will, but it's when you look at the finished product, it'll make sense because if you look at something front on, it's going to look different to if it was side on. Big shoulders. You might start to bring in some costume choices maybe. Let's look at some little wrist things there. Beef this neck out. Now everyone's got to have a booty. Superheroes seem to have a little tiny booty so let's put a little one in there. See how I'm, I am ignoring some of the lines that I've done before? And that's also because see how I've made that foot quite large? I've now got to play with that and make sure that it looks the same as the other foot. Now I think we bring some of this costume into it as well. Okay, now let's start. I think what's gonna be probably trickiest is the hands or the um, dingo head. 
And so I'm going to be cheat a little bit and I'm going to start work on the tail. And so this character is going to be quite furry. So instead of the straight line, I'm just going to start working on some little jaggedy lines for fur. And then I'm going to bring some of those lines in. And think about how much detail I actually want to put in here for fur. So I think I might also do some little short lines. Move the paper if you need to. Let's do some more of these short. Bring some of these fur bits down. Do some bigger lines now. Bring it in. Okay. Look, I think that's that's all right to work with for now. I'm wondering if down here we should have some of the fur actually sticking out. So I might change this costume choice to a little bit of fur here. And now with our hands, I think we actually need them to be quite airbendery. And so I mean it is essentially a dog and so we could humanise this and put human hands but I think that we kind of work with this and we maybe go like this. And do a bit of a dog shaped hand here. So maybe we change our booties then to furry feet. Bring some of those little lines down. Need to, this is a cheat's way of sharpening a pencil. Keep working on some of this shadow and stuff in here to keep me understanding what this character is looking like. Strong character. All right, and let's do palm number two, similar as what we did before. Bring a bit of fur in here. Should be a bit of something here. We're gonna do the some little lines and some shading. All right, I'm trying to think of what the logo should be. So I think it should just be why not? All right, so here is what could be one of the hardest bits. Because we've started with these little tiny fuzzy lines, I'm just going to sharpen this again. We're going to continue on with that. I'm going to make our ears a bit more realistic. We're going to bring our face shape. We're going to work with our neck. Our big nose. So I am keeping there a little bit of comic cartoony bit to it and keeping that eye like that. I might change that, but I'm, I'm, I'm digging the vibe. So we'll stick with that for now. Okay. Now, again, if we look at some of these, we look at the way that they do the backgrounds. So sometimes it's with heaps of heavy detail but then other times you see that as the people get smaller, see they're, they're kind of, you can tell they're people, but if you look at them closely, they're just kind of shapes. Or something like this, the background's quite washed out and plain so that Superman here is in the focus, in the foreground. So let's have a play, let's have a think. I mean, it makes perfect sense to chuck a surfboard in here. So I think that's gonna be the easiest way of also incorporating surfing to this. I'm keeping it with this rough style, 
so that it's not out of place. If I went ahead and just did a really quick surfboard, it would look really weird. So we're gonna keep that like that. We'll play with that to make it look more like a surfboard. I think that our character should be doing something a bit wild, a bit otherworldly. So I think that maybe they are, they're not just here in the water. I think that maybe the water's down here and they're up quite high. So maybe we play with there being quite a lot of clouds up here because of how high they are in the sky. And that also puts our person, there's this cool thing called rule of thirds. There's your piece of paper. There's your thirds. And so what we're doing is here, we're putting this dingo on one third and this interesting thing here down on another third. So I think we can play with something happening down here. And obviously if they're gonna save the day and it's gonna be water-based, I think maybe we, I liked this idea. So I think we play with that. And I think we look at a massive tsunami wave. Of course you need some kind of a city because what would a comic book be without some kind of a city? And I think maybe we're on the outskirts here. This tidal wave's coming into town. But we should have all of the palm trees facing one direction, like they're being battered around. Maybe some people yelling or screaming or running. We'll have a look. But I think now I'm gonna to start to do a little bit of ink. See how I can change things that I'm not fussed on. Keep some of those lines in there a bit sketchy because that's the look that we want. Now if you really wanted to, at the end of this, you could actually get rid of all of the pencils. You can rub it all out, but I quite like this and I'm gonna color it in just with colored pencil. And so I'm, I'm, I like this look.
Enjoy this workshop? Explore more at Clarence Regional Library YouTube.